Hey guys, what's up? This is iDroid Review and today we are going to do unboxing of FND 5.1 speakers. You can buy these speakers for 6400 rupees on Amazon India and these are also available with local dealers in Delhi for 5100 rupees. So is this FND speaker worth buying? To know our opinion, stay tuned till the end. F3800X is a 5.1 speaker system which comes with features like Bluetooth connectivity, LED backlight, remote control, FM, USB and SD card slots. So without any further ado, let's start unboxing. First we have 5 satellite speakers, next we have quick installation guide and warranty card, next we have remote control, 3 RCA to RCA cables, 1 aux to RCA cable. Moving on to the next item, we have subwoofer, output power of these speakers is RMS 30 watts for subwoofer and 10 watts for each satellite, in total 80 watts RMS or 8000 watts PMPO. Frequency response for satellite speakers is 40 hz to 125 hz and for subwoofer 120 hz to 20 kilo hz. Signal to noise ratio stands at more than 70 dB. Subwoofer has nice LED light on the front. You can't control the color but it can be turned on or off from the remote. Subwoofer also has a front display panel along with buttons to control FM, volume, input source and on off. Although display panel is a good addition and button placement is fine but buttons are made out of poor quality material. They rattle while pressing and feels cheap. On the back of the subwoofer, we have 3 ports to connect input RCA left right, 1 port for aux left right, next we have output left right ports for each satellite speaker and just below that we have power cable and on off switch. You can also find FM antenna cable, you can just attach the antenna cable to any metallic structure near speaker for good FM reception. It is a 5.1 speaker setup, so 3 satellites are placed on the front along with subwoofer and 2 satellites go to the back side. Each satellite has open-ended wire which can be easily extended. Satellite speakers have the same design as the subwoofer, just that there is no LED light on the front. Now let's see the remote. It has on-off button, FM control buttons, it also has Bluetooth pairing button and more. We can increase or decrease volume for front, rear and center speaker separately. We can also increase or decrease bass. We also get button for LED on and off. Now let's talk about the pros of this speaker system. First we get lots of connectivity options like RCA, AUX and Bluetooth. We also get dedicated USB slot, SD card slots and FM radio. It also comes with remote, front display and LED light which adds to the value of this already great speaker system. Now let's talk about some cons of this speaker system. Front satellites have open ended wire which is long enough but the rear speaker's wire is short and one has to extend this manually. The plastic buttons on the front of the subwoofer feels cheap. We don't get control over LED color. And lastly, the sound of these speakers is good but it won't blow your mind away. But considering the price point these speakers are available at, it is not that bad. So, should you buy this speaker system? It depends. If you want a good 5.1 speaker system and your budget is about 5000 to 10000 rupees, then you can consider this speaker system. But if you are looking for a great sounding 5.1 speaker and more importantly budget is not an issue, you can look for Bose, Loitech and Sony speakers. They would cost double or more than this FND speakers and they might have less features but they'll definitely sound better. So that's all guys from my side, hit the like button if you like the video and please support us by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to get notifications.